renovating a vintage horizontal twin-cylinder model steam engine, Part 11. And Part 11 finds me at the larger of the two lathes that I have, and I'm parting off a large piece of brass. This piece of brass bar is just over one inch in diameter, and the piece that I've just parted off will make both of the pistons. After removing the parted off piece from the bigger lathe, I put it in my small Boxford lathe. The process is basically as you see it here. I face off the work, and then I use a centre drill to deeply centre the work, followed by a 5 30 seconds of an inch twist drill. After drilling the hole to the required depth, then I'm using a 2BA tap, and the piston rod which is threaded 2BA screws into this easily. The next thing to do is to cut the piston to the required size, to match the existing ones that I've removed. I'm sure there are many experienced engineers out there, I seem to get a lot of experts commenting on my stuff, who are now probably shaking their heads. But I don't care really, I'm not into model engineering for model engineering's sake. I simply scribe a mark on the piece of brass, to the same length as the piston, and then I take a fine cut as shown here. Then I take the brass out of the little lathe's chuck, and I put it back in the big lathe and part it off, and I end up with a nearly finished piston and another piston blank. The piston blank that has the 2BA thread down the middle is now put into the chuck back in the Boxford lathe, and I'm taking a fine facing cut. You can see the original mark that I made with the cutting tool when the piece of bar was intact before I parted it off on the large machine. If you look at this piston blank, you'll see that quite a lot of it is held in the chuck, and this is fine, except I can't get a pair of calipers in to measure how wide it is. Also, because I left a slight gap behind the blank, I can't use the original piston to size it. The solution is quite simple, I'm using a steel ruler behind the piston blank, and then I just hold the original piston against it, and that gives me the final size. So now I have a rough idea how big the piston needs to be. I tend to do a lot of things by feel, it's probably experience, but really it's because, if I'm honest, I appear to have the brain of a musician, pretty much like in the old Frankenstein film where Ego goes down to the lab to get the brain, but he brings back the wrong one. Instead of bringing back the normal brain, he brings back the abnormal brain. And my abnormal brain now tells me that this piston blank is exactly the same size as the original old piston was. Right, it's time to put the piston rod in the chuck, and once again, this chuck is quite accurate, more than accurate enough for this job. So I'm using some Loctite 603 on the thread, and very carefully screwing on the piston blank. If you do this, be really careful, the edges are very sharp. I am aware of this, so I'm being careful. This is probably the only time I'd ever use a pair of pliers. I'm just nipping the piston blank onto the piston rod. Once the Loctite 603 is fully cured, I then remove the piston and rod from the chuck, and I fit a washer behind the piston itself. And although, once again, this is not good engineering practice, and I do apologise, I will try harder next time, I'm just using a piece of wet or dry sandpaper to clean up the surface of the piston itself. The reason for this is that this is exactly the size I need to go in the bore. A quick test of the piston in the bore confirms that it's a very good fit. It's actually what I would term a piston fit. It doesn't need an o-ring on it really, but I'm going to put one on. By reversing the piston in the bore, the way it's going to be, it's also a very good fit. When I try the piston in the other cylinder, it's equally good. Once again, there's not a hint of any binding as the piston is moved up and down the cylinder. So all I need to do now is make another identical piston and fit a silicone o-ring to each of them. Then the job's well on the way. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.